Good evening, people. Good evening. Say, I love ants if you can hear me. Nothing? No one can hear me? Ah, yeah. I forgot about that. There's a small delay on YouTube for some reason. Like like a 20 sec 15, 20 second delay, generally speaking. Yeah. Cool. All right. Everyone can hear me fine. Great. Let me just turn the music down a tad. You'll have to let me know about audio levels, by the way. They look okay on my side, but obviously uh, I'm not listening to it. So you'll, uh, you'll have to just keep me informed at that point. Just, give me, just let me turn the music down a tad. Okay. Good. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to uh, the first official Slug Disco stream for quite a while. We kind of went quiet as far as streams go uh, because of uh, Fire Ants, obviously. Um, so John spent uh, a lot of his time uh, working just on the Fire Ants, funnily enough. Yeah. Uh, rather than uh, than streaming. Streaming's a good thing to do, but it, uh, it it is a bit of a time sap because you're interacting with uh, with with chat and things. So uh, at, when we went into real crunch mode for uh, for the fire ant update, uh, John John put a stop to that. And I I would have loved to have taken up the reins and uh, and streamed myself. However, my internet was terrible. I had really bad internet. It was just the worst. I could barely watch YouTube. But the other day, a very nice gentleman uh, popped round to my house and uh, poked a fibre optic cable through the wall. And now I have really good internet. And it's honestly the best thing. <laughs> having, having had mid-90s DSL for so long, I can finally watch YouTube without it stuttering all the time. In fact, when, when I did use to stream, <laughs> it, uh, I, I didn't even use my my internet connection. I, I used my phone's 4G because it was better than my home connection. Which was just terrible. Right, okay, so um, anyway, that's that's all behind us now. Um, uh, and I've, I've got a new streaming setup. Um, I, 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 I invested a little bit and uh, I, I got the streamer microphone and the streamer webcam and the streamer light. So I am now Mr. Streamer. That's how you will refer... That's, that's, that sounds weird. Anyway, um, what we're going to do today is we're just going to have a chat for a while, for maybe half an hour, and then I'm going to play the 1-1 um, the one, one levels, 1-1 one, one and 1-2, one, the, the, the first tier, in a new form of carrying, because it's time to... Uh, it's time to get back into Empires of the Undergrowth, and although I've done my fair share of... Uh, quality control testing for the uh, for the fire ants. I haven't actually just played the game for fun in quite a while, so I'm quite looking forward to doing to that, that uh, today. We're starting off. Okay, so we're just yeah, we're we're just going to chat for a bit. So I'm just going to. There is a bit of a delay of like f like I said, 15, 20 seconds between when I'm actually talking and when I uh, and when chat gets back to me. So be aware of that. But. Um, uh, just if, if anyone's got any questions or needs anything clarifying, that's that's just what we're going to do today. Uh, like I said, probably until about half past, and then we'll play a bit of the game. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Um, you'll have seen today that um, we've got a uh, optional beta. If anyone would like to get involved in that and isn't currently, then uh, the details are on both Steam and the Discord. Um, I think I might be able to give you the Discord details if you're not already in there. I will put them in chat. Uh, just give me a second. Just put the I'll just put the Discord link in there. Nazi blah. Give me one second. Very very pro setup we've got here. Very very pro setup. Um, there you go. If anyone's not on the Discord already, that's that's where to to get it. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, this this whole setup as well, apart from the streamer microphone, I've also bought a stream deck, which is a, a nice little keypad uh, that, that can do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, I haven't figured it out just yet. I think 
for, for, for the stream we do next week, I'll, I'll have everything a bit more sorted. But all I've done with the stream deck so far is uh, bound uh, two very important sound effects to it. So here's the first one. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And here's the other. My brethren beetles. There you go. So that's, that's massively important, of course. My brethren beetles. So, right, okay. Um, our, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to start reading chat. Uh, when will the next update be? The next update, which will be just a bug-fixing one, will be in the next week or two. We're just doing an optional beta for it right now, just to make sure nothing too important has you know, passed us by while we've been concentrating on just fixing problems here and there. Um, after that, uh, the next really big update will include some extra levels, and we've got Adventure coming up. Uh, which we've we've had out to uh, some of our in, uh, our testers, our, our little uh, testing focus group uh, for a little while now, and they seem to be enjoying that one. So I think you guys will enjoy enjoy adventure when it comes up. Will you add weaver ants? No, weaver ants are an arboreal species, meaning they live in trees, and they have a nesting system which just isn't compatible with ours. So no, weaver ants will not be in the game. Okay, um, our. Will termites be in the game? Yes, in tier 5, termites will feature. Yes. When will the fishing spider be a thing? During, if, if you've seen the, again, this is something I can I can link you to. I don't I don't want to show on on stream because I'm, I'm a bit wary about kind of security things in a, when, when streaming. But I will link you to the roadmap that we put up, which is on Steam. So that's the, the roadmap there. Uh, and you can see that the fishing spider uh, will be part of... It's not actually put down here because there's, there's a bunch of stuff. It'll be part of the great interim update period. So after adventure, after tutorial mode, uh, after the, our, of, our bug fixing update that's coming shortly. Yes. Will bullet ants be playable? Not as their own separate species, but they will be, you'll be able to add them to your former carrier and then take them into free play. Um, and, and, and presumably play former carrier challenges with them as well. That, yeah, they're, again, they're, they're a species which are, are, are a bit unusual in, in that they don't have like the, the more traditional nesting systems that, that most of our ants in game do, but we can include them kind of thematically, it makes sense to do it as part of a, 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 an Arepta colony. So you'll be able to do that. There'll be an end game bonus, they're not getting their own levels. Will we ever be able to play as the army ants? Maybe, but in an extra level, and it wouldn't be, again, army ants are ones that have a, a kind of unique nest setup, as in they don't really build nests, they, they build bivouacs, kind of, which are made out of their own bodies. So they, again, they, they don't really fit into our nesting and digging systems. Uh, but if we did an extra level for them, I, I can certainly see some room there to, to kind of do an extra level where you control like where the paths go for them. There's some experimentation to be done there at some point, maybe. Sure. Uh, what is the tier 5 species that we totally don't know? I, I can't officially tell you yet, uh, because we haven't officially announced it yet. Uh, at some point we will. We'll probably do it with a video. Uh, probably with a bit more... Yeah, uh, when, when a bit more of the, the tier 5 artwork is complete. Uh, we've got a bunch of the tier 5 creatures already done, but... Our environment artist, Dan, up until this point, has been working on fire ants, but now with shift focus. Uh, he's, he's doing something else first, though. Uh, he's actually working on a texture pack for the uh, the rotting log. So uh, 1, 1 and 1, 2 will get their own textures, uh, which I think they're sorely lacking so far. So, yeah, okay. Let's see what else we've got. The narrator um, is a guy called Callum Edmonds, who I believe on YouTube goes by the moniker of Mauler. He's got uh, a bunch of videos complaining about Star Wars, which got quite popular, I believe, so you can go and uh, watch him there. How did you come up with the name Formica Arepta? I believe, well, Formica, obviously, from ant species, but uh, Arepta, I believe, is just thief in Latin. Um, I think that's right. Anyway, it had, it had to be unique, and, I, and we'd never heard anything called a raptor before, so, yeah. Will we, will we be able to play as yellow ants? Uh, lots of ants are yellow, my friend. You have to be a bit more specific there.
Are we going to get an extra level that plays in a city area? Maybe. It's the kind of thing, I guess... I think people are, are thinking that because when many people encounter ants, it's when they're in, in towns and, and uh, yeah, urban environments. And also a lot of people remember Simant or have played Simant at some point. But we'd, it's, it's important to remember that, um, generally speaking, extra levels, with, with a couple of exceptions, uh, extra levels and uh, free play use assets that we've already made for the campaign. Uh, making an urban environment that's that would be quite a big un undertaking uh, and but if, if the general question was uh, will any of the campaign levels be in in kind of a city setting no is the answer to that yes uh this is important actually um i've 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 kind of got the official go ahead uh, from the guys to talk about this now uh we've we've kind of suspected for a while but multiplayer is officially deconfirmed we're not doing multiplayer it's, it's a whole different avenue. The game as it stands right now wouldn't play well in multiplayer. And it's just probably better at this point that we draw a line under that and say, no, Empires in the Undergrowth will not have multiplayer. Yeah, I don't know if you, if you missed that, uh, Sol. Sol. Sol's one of our, uh, our moderators on, uh, on Discord. Yeah, it, it has been officially... No, we're not doing. We're not doing multiplayer. Now. Would love a rework of Toehead for for free play. For, for for free play, what's wrong with it? I think Toehead's fine. It's certainly more intense because it's a smaller map. But we've got to have a variety of sizes and shapes, haven't we? Mod support. Uh, again, this is something that we're not sure about. Um, it's it's something to assess post release. Uh, but it's 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 probably something we could that would probably be less of a stretch than uh, than the multiplayer. But we we have to think about how we'd support it. Uh, we can't just release the source code. That's that's inviting all sorts of disaster. Uh, but we can maybe do you know create certain systems to allow I, I don't know an idea. Again, this is not just just before someone quotes me on this. Uh, this isn't something that the guys have, have said they're going to do or anything. This is just my idea. I, th I thought that maybe um, we could do uh, a very specific way of, of people adding their own creatures to the game uh, with a stat sheet and, and, and models and animations all done in a set order. Uh, that that would be a, a kind of fairly basic form of mod support which, and then, then you could add those to free play. But, um, but yeah. Will we be able to play as Slave Makers? Uh, not in current plans. Slave Makers have, would, uh, would need a bunch of new systems created for them. Uh, you have to re realise that we're a, we are a small team. Uh, we've got three core devs, uh, and then we've got um, an artist, and then a couple of marketing people. So we have to be really specific with our time. Wasps, you've already got a wasp. Uh, the, uh, and the first person to say it in, uh, in chat wins a point. And it's not the wasp mantid fly, no. Could we have some of the level designs in extra levels as some free play maps? Not really. Free play has to be fairly homogenous. There's there's kind of a specific thing about about free play. It's it has to be fair wherever you're playing it from. So it has to be almost symmetrical, or or at least you know it, it feels roughly the same everywhere in it. I mean, we still get people, you know, starting free play multiple times so they get the right combination of uh, underground and uh, an overground location, but... There'll be new landmarks for free play. I, I think so. I think there will. I don't know if there's officially any plans yet, but I know that the plan to, uh, to how to update free play is for the guys to kind of concentrate solidly on it for several weeks. Um, and then the free play update will be out and it'll be much closer to how it will be finally in the final game um right uh vel yeah the red velvet ant correct that that is the wasp <laughs> that is the wasp that is in the game alongside the food rebalance will the beach tiger beetle and wolf sp uh, spider skin models be replaced with another species that's going to happen at some point yeah we've we've got the the voice lines recorded for those already. That that will happen. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm always a little bit on edge when I'm streaming because I, I always feel 
you know, slightly out of my comfort zone. I've, I've got to get more used to it. So I'm just going to take a slightly more relaxed stance, and uh, and, and I don't need to, to be so loud, I don't think. I'll just calm it down a bit. I, this is what, what I do when I stream. I, I, I exhaust myself, so I, I tend not to be able to stream for more than an hour or so. I lose my voice. Challenge made for Fire Ants will be the six-spotted um, fishing spider, which will hinder bridges, bridge construction in some way. We, ha we haven't said exactly how yet, but uh, that's that's on the cards. Are we going to get another foot, uh, uh, the other foot too? Um, I, I don't think that's on the plan for the sequel season. Can we play as Dracula ants? No, not current plans for Dracula ants. Uh, they they lost a uh, uh, during the Kickstarter back in 2016. They they lost a pole for, with I can't remember what an, another species th to be in the game eventually. Do you have any theme for the new upcoming update? You mean with uh, like where where it's going to be set and and what species are going to be? That's all decided. That that was all decided quite a long time ago now. Will map making be a thing thing in free play? Uh, ag again, this, that's a maybe. Uh, I know specifically John on the dev team would like to make a map maker, but there's a lot of considerations for it, and th like there's a lot of rules that have to be followed when you make a map. It's like some people have asked for randomly generated maps, which doesn't really work with our systems, um, but we'd, we'd have to find a way of making sure anyone who's making a map conforms to those standards, which could be done, it's just a big undertaking, so that's that's probably something to look, um, to think about post-release. Yeah, that's it, Dra yeah, yeah. Dra Dracula Ants and Bullet Ants, that was it, so Bullet Ants will be, yeah, is the species that's going to be in the game as a little bonus at the end of the, at the end of the campaign. I'm not sure about Cramp 2. Uh, the only two that are definitely confirmed are Occupation 2 and Tug of War 2. But there will be another couple, I think, yeah. Bald Face Hornets? I don't think so. They're, they're an American species, aren't they? Yeah, I, d I think we're done setting levels in America now. Yeah, America got... Uh, tier 4 was uh, was um, America. South Carolina, to be precise. The Green Swamp. It's a real place. Look it up. Once Tier 5 is released, will the game leave early access? It will. At that point, we are calling the game complete. Uh, we will put it on Steam and everywhere else as... It's done. Yay, go and buy it now. But we won't stop there. Uh, with, we haven't decided precisely what's going to happen after, but we've got some ideas... And uh, we're still going to do stuff. We this this is our job. This isn't a hobby. This this is this is the job that we do. For all of us at Slug Disco now, we're full time. All of us are full time now. I only recently went full time, by the way. Harvester Harvest Ants. There, another one that gets suggested semi regularly. In which country will we get 5-1? Uh, again, officially, I can't tell you yet. There was that leak from last year, but I can't I can't officially tell you. That that will all be eventually spelled out. It, it's a marketing thing, though. When, when, you, when you're, uh, you're only a small team working on a game, you've, you've got to think about marketing from, from quite a, you know, a, a controlled perspective. I mean, we like to give out little tidbits and, uh, and hints here and there just for fun. Uh, and we do that a fair bit on our Discord, by the way. If anyone who hasn't joined the Discord, do. Um, but uh, as far as kind of the, the more general public goes, we, 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 we like to stick to a strategy. And in fact, I've, 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 I, I do occasionally have to be told by the guys to just rein it in a little bit if I'm oversharing. <laughs> Is the whip spider going to get a buff? I, I, no official decision, but I will push for it to get a buff when, when the rebalance comes, yes. I think at, at the moment in the game, specifically, uh, no, particularly I should say, after you've, uh, if you if you understand the mechanics, it, it's it's quite a simple fight. And, and uh, if you're well prepared, the whip spider is generally dead uh, by the time the uh, narrator finishes uh, bigging it up about how dangerous it is. A huge whip spider has... It's dead. No. My brethren beetles. 
Yeah, and it, it will be a Titan. Yes. Uh, at the moment, it is not. The, the only official Titans are the the two in the, the 4X levels and uh, the ones from Formicarium Challenge 4. But we will be retroactively turning Big Whippy into uh, a Titan. Yes. It, it will be the first Titan you encounter if you've never played the campaign before. Will you give the giant whip spider a titan health bar? Yes. Uh, the health bar will be the thing that determines something as a titan. Well, it is already. But yes, yeah, Big Whippy will be getting uh, uh, her own health bar. God bless her. She deserves it. She's been long-suffering. On lower difficulties, the objective is always smaller, and the skimmer usually doesn't land, since the level is finished before it happens. It's true. It's true, yeah. There's, uh, again, there's there's a bunch of of things to think about uh, uh, when, when kind of rebalances happen. Uh, but there's, there's plenty of time to do that. I mean, even post-release, after 1.0, uh, games can, can be rebalanced. It happens all the time. So, again, uh, you shouldn't think of, of 1.0 as kind of the end of an era when that does happen. We hope it's sooner rather than later. It, sh it should be more, it's, it's, a, it's a mark, it's, it's a milestone. It's not the end. Yeah. But the campaign story will be finished at that point. Yeah. Um. If I may guess, will the new levels be desert? They will not. They will not. How many titans will there be? Uh, tier 5 will have several more titans. Can't tell you exactly now not because i don't know uh but officially i can't will titans have uber forms no i think they're already quite dangerous as they are i think if they were ubers they'd they'd just become uh bullet sponges essentially if you understand that term and wouldn't wouldn't be much fun to fight i mean ubers are scary enough as they are The next up update going to be rebalance buffing nerfing creatures and food drops. Um, that's that's probably going to happen at some point. Um, we are going to do a campaign wide balance pass. The the two X levels, the two one and two two, uh, have a bit of an issue in that uh, the amount of food dropped by creatures is too high, and you don't really have to um, ever visit the shoreline much if you know what you're doing, or um, or look, even look after aphids on uh, on two two. Uh, you can just eat the creatures. And while while we understand lots of players like killing an enemy and eating it, that's a satisfying thing to do. It is a They do give a bit too much food at the moment. Now, we're probably not going to be quite as dramatic with it. So we are, we are probably due a rebalance where probably the 4x creatures, um, their food drops come up a bit. But not to the level of the, of the 2x creatures. And the 2x ones will come down. I mean, we've we put so many food gathering mechanics in uh, in 4x uh, that you shouldn't need to uh, to eat the creatures. But we we do understand that there's the one satisfying mechanic which is kind of lost there, even if it is more realistic. Uh, and yes, in real life, fire ants get most of their calories from honeydew. They're not the murder hobos that some people have been saying they are. Our levels are well researched. 3x creatures, well, it doesn't matter so much because you're a... Uh, you don't eat the creatures in 3x. But John has already, in the game, divorced statistics between free play and the campaign. So they're going to be differently balanced in those two. Any chance of adding Chimera bugs into free play like the ones in the Forum Carrium Challenge? I don't know about that. I, I don't like the idea of someone randomly spoiling themselves for the, for the for that surprise in in uh in the fourth uh formicarium challenge by just playing free play for a bit and and then all of a sudden this monster appears so i'm not sure about that it's, it's, it's the same reason they're not in the battle arena I, I think i'd rather just leave it that way personally maybe, maybe they'll find their way into the battle arena at some point but probably not Challenge mode creatures in free play, please. Yeah, I love the idea of the uh, 
uh, tiger beetle larvae just sat at either side of the arena, uh, and uh, just doing nothing. Just two sets of <laughs> tiger beetle larvae just in their burrows. Who wins? We'll never know. What about unlocking them? Unlocking them again? I, I don't know. It's it. It kind of seems a bit contrived. Make very hard extra level. There's plenty of them already. Play, play most of the extra levels on insane, and they're already they're already pretty difficult. Are we going to get in future crickets? You've already got crickets. You've got the uh, the spiny devil bush cricket. Will Mauler still voice act? Uh, Mauler um, or Callum has has finished his voice recording for Tier Five. We got that recorded last year and earlier this year, uh, and that's all in the can. So he, he will be the narrator for the remainder of the campaign. That's and, and and we're very glad to say so will the the two scientist voice actors as well. They've they've all done their recording, and we're very glad of that. We're very glad they all came back for it. Will creatures in free play give more food on harder difficulties? No, 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 they won't. It should be the other way around, really, shouldn't it? Make extra level where you chase out male scientists, please. Yeah, multiplayer's deconfirmed. We're not doing multiplayer. Not in this project. Will we get Scorpion and Tarantula? Um, uh, again, that's potential spoilers for the future, so, so I can't really answer that. Who wrote the scientist lines? Liam. Liam does almost all the writing. Uh, a few of us have done other things here and there. Like, I, I've done a bit of the writing. And, like, John did all the writing for hibernation. But Liam, Liam does almost all of it. Uh, he's the one who uh, puts the research time in. Uh, could we get a slider that affects how much food creatures give in free play? Uh... With free play, I think already needs streamlining a bit. It's a very complicated thing as it is, and a bit overwhelming, a bit daunting for for, for new players. The, the more the, the the more things we add, the more you know knobs and buttons to to tweak in free play. The the less likely people are to play it. Ironically. Who's the one that does the ant research? Liam. L Liam. He's, he's very much a scientist at heart, is Liam. Uh, he's a very clever chap, and he, he, uh, he, he has a, a PhD, I believe. And his career is in uh, engineering, uh, as in his, uh, his pre-Empires of the Undergrowth career was in academia. Uh, so he's, he's very much academically minded, and he reads a bunch of stuff. Right, okay. There you go. We've we've talked for about half an hour. I'll I'll answer a couple more questions and and then we'll just jump into playing playing some empires because uh I want to play. Will hibernation get a sequel level? I don't know. Maybe John'll do that. Maybe he'll get the inspiration at some point. But hibernation is a very special level anyway. It was based on a uh a documentary John saw and I'm sure some of you will have seen it. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He watched that and got a, an idea. And I, I I can remember actually him uh uh, talking to me on our internal chat it was when me and Liam were at EGX last year and John says he's got some ideas and he knew we were going to record with Callum soon and he says he'd, he'd like to do a few lines for an extra level which we'd never done before and I thought that was a great idea and then Liam did the the little kind of medley of Christmas songs to go with it and I thought it was fantastic I don't know if it's... It's not Empires of the Ants, I don't think. Empires of the Ants was a, also a game and a book. So, some, someone will mention it, I'm sure. I think it was a... Yeah, it, it was it, it was an Attenborough narrated one. Will we get more extra levels like Hibernation? Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, it, it, the, the extra levels come with some... John gets a wave of inspiration. And in this case, yeah, he'd watched an ant documentary.
if 1.0 comes out, can we no longer expect new ant species? Well, not f not for this for the story as it is. The story will finish at the end of uh, when we leave early access. But in the future, maybe DLC, m maybe some extra levels. We don't we, we haven't quite decided. We've got some ideas, but we haven't quite decided. Are we ever ever going to get termite nest? A uh, tier five will feature termites in some form. Right, okay. Can I close the music before it restarts? Yes, I can. Okay, let's 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 play let's play a game, guys. I've got this great game I found called Empires of the Undergrowth. Don't you've ever heard of it? Tiny little indie game. Made by a bunch of British losers. Ant Mountain. Ant Mountain. I think that's the one. Yeah, you got it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, right. So we are going to start a new form of carry. Uh, I'm going to do uh, one one and one two. And the the idea here is to do them fast because I, I want to get to fire ants and the, and the new content in fairly short order. So I am a normal difficulty player. So I'm going to be playing on normal difficulty. Uh, and I'm going to choose. Oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll choose three colours that I particularly like, and we'll we'll let we'll let chat decide. So I'm going to put up a poll. Uh, right, how do I do a poll? There's a way to do it here somewhere. Okay, make your choice, guys. Which of these three colours would you like me to make my colony? These are my three favourites. If I if I try to speed run King of Bravo, I, I don't know the strats. I'll just get annoyed with it, and I'm uh, and I won't enjoy it, and the stream won't be fun. So I'm, I'm going to do them fast. But I'm not going to speedrun. I'll do them in a way that I know. I'm glad you guys are kind of uh, homing in on pink. We've got 70 odd viewers and most of you have voted. And I think it's going to be pink. Yeah, pink, pink is actually my favourite colour for, for the colony. Call it the stream colony because uh, I'm streaming. Yeah, I'm going to end the poll there. So we're gonna call we're gonna go with pink. Okay. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Vomica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Okay. Yeah, for, for those of you who didn't see the roadmap earlier, we are doing a, a tutorial mode, which I think is greatly needed. Uh, Liam's been at Gamescom last week, uh, taking the prototype version of the tutorial and seeing how people react to it, which has been wonderful. We've got some feedback on that. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. Remember when the male scientist didn't seem crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't last long, though, does it? Thanks for saying that, Patrick. I'm a fan of you. A 
I'm just going to do the general ablutions under here. And here we go. Here's one of the new new things. Don't mind what was the feedback. Uh, good. Uh, as in, it's ten times better than anything we've got so far. Uh, who voices the scientists? Uh, there's um, a woman called Mary Jo uh, does Scientist 1. Let's save. I'll, I'll open the credits up. Menu. Yeah. Credits are all here. I'm running the, the beta version, by the way. This is the, the optional beta. So if the game crashes, eh, I guess it crashes. How am I doing with my, uh, with my stream? Zero drop frames, that's very impressive. Having full fibre really helps there. I'm assuming you guys uh, haven't noticed any problems. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's play a level. One one on medium difficulty. Off we go. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there, there are, are other hungry, hungry creatures down here. here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Butchered and carried off. Fat grubs are hauled from their cells, butchered and carried off. Wasps nests a major prize, butchered and carried off. A hunter lurking in disguise, butchered and carried off. How long did the lines take to record? A, an inordinate, inordinate amount of time. You, you won't believe how much of a pain in the butt it is getting stuff recorded like that remotely. How's the volume levels, by the way, guys? I'm suspecting the game's a little loud. I'll just turn it down a touch. Okay. Uh, right. Got everything from over there yet? Not quite. Couple of soldiers. Real good. And then we'll take on our first couple of larvae. And that here, of course. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If 
The ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae. The outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Will you be able to play as termites? Maybe. I mean, they're, they're going to have a fairly traditional kind of nest setup. Uh, it should all be fairly predictable. So, uh, probably, yeah. Maybe not immediately with the release of Tier 5, but... Stop suggesting stuff they are not Microsoft. No, 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 that's wrong. Please suggest all the stuff you like. Sometimes we get a suggestion that we, we haven't thought of and we really like. Obviously, most of the time, it's something that's been suggested before, but occasionally we've thought, you know what, that's a good idea. So, no. S suggest things all you like. But ultimately, we are going to do things our own way. Uh, honeypot ants going to be playable. Not currently planned, no. Honey, honeypot ants are not planned for the game at the moment. Nora Argentine ants. The termites are... They're the, they're the big ones. Macromedi something or the other. I'm, so, I'm sure someone can find the species name. There are intruders in the nest. Really shouldn't have uh, had the uh, the workers there, should have. That was a mistake. The ants must protect the queen. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I've messed it up simply by having the workers with the with the the soldiers there. Yeah, let's uh, let's restart and do it quickly. Oh, yeah, this is what happens when I try and interact with chat. This for me so I'm just going to concentrate getting back to that point again. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Butchered and carried off. You make trap jaw ant species uh, a playable species after adventure because they're in it. Probably not. They again the them being in adventure is kind of a bodge. Can we have bullet ants? Yes, you'll get bullet ants as a, as a little bonus species for finishing the campaign. tier will bullet ants be in? Uh, technically not any tier. There will be a post-game reward. They're not going to have their own levels.
What happened to the sycophantic scientist? Do you mean psychopathic? <laughs> a sycophantic scientist would be one who's always uh, sucking up to his superior. <laughs> yeah, he was he was banned. He, he, he was removed from the premises and uh, banned and sacked. I think that, to be honest, it was probably because he uh, kind of toppled a cabinet that, that actually got him finally uh, sacked rather than anything he was doing because she couldn't find the evidence. I mean, she should probably have just looked in the, the cupboard, but, you know, we can't all be expected to look in the cupboard. Okay. When will the next update be? Uh, let the scientists speak first. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Who will conduct tier five then? Quite. What what on earth is going to happen now? Who knows? Well, us obviously. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, a little tip. Send ants past uh, enemies with combat turned off. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Yeah. Send ants past enemies with combat turned off. Then re-enable combat when roughly half of them have gone past. Then you'll get a good surround. Uh, not so relevant outside, but in, in confined corridors. Definitely useful. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Also, making corridors slightly wider is useful as well. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing, by the way, because, uh, like I say, recently I've gone full time, and I'm, I'm, and therefore I've, I've, uh, kind of got a bit more license to do more stuff. Uh, so I was, I was thinking of doing a, uh, a video, uh, a, a series that was kind of like pro tips for Empires of the Undergrowth, and that would be one of them. Don't know what you guys would think about that. Let me know if they, you think that's a good idea or not. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, people seem to generally agree that was a good idea. Nice. No mess of barbarous. No, no, no mess of barbarous. Yeah, the kind of the idea I've got. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn the music down because in, in these headphones it's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, the idea I've kind of got is uh, to go along with the newsletters, not replacing them. But to be kind of counterparts to the newsletter uh, is a um, uh, a video bi-monthly, you know, kind of in between the newsletters, which will be a kind of, yeah, a, a, a kind of video form of the newsletter uh, shot uh, with this microphone and this camera. And I've got over in the corner there, I haven't got it set up because the thing is huge. I've got a green screen, a pop-up green screen. So t to make some... You know, a talking head video where I, I you know, I, I sit here and I chat, and it'll it'll overlap with the newsletter quite a bit, but also because it's it's technically it'll be a bit later than the newsletter, so it'll uh, uh, you know, kind of a, a bi-monthly update video for YouTube, uh, which I, I think uh, might be a nice thing. Favorite ant species? I like I like the trap jaws. 
both in real life and in empires. There are intruders in the nest. Do you or any other developers have ants as pets? No. Uh, Matt used to keep tarantulas. Uh, I've been meaning to the last couple of years to, to find um, like a pavement or a black ant queen. Uh, I've got some test tubes. I've got plastic test tubes in a drawer over there somewhere. But I've just never... I, I always forget to have, have them in my pocket when, uh, when I'm out. And a few times I've found swarming ants and... and too late. I, I intend to, is, is the point. But no, um, uh, as far as I'm aware, non, no one else on the team has a, a pet ant colony either. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. How will termite king and queen work? I don't know. I think what we're going to do is harvest these wood lies, build up the army a bit, and then I'm going to go uh, and uh, refill my beverage and use the bathroom. And you can all see the hilarious BRB screen that, uh, that Liam made years ago. <laughs> Can you make that cocktail that you made at the launch stream? Uh, I'd rather not. If if you like a really really sweet drink, that that was probably for you. But I I don't really. So yeah, uh, I'd I'm not going to make any drinks that contain just pure sugar syrup again. No, I'll stick with Ribena and fizzy water. Right. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna just pause this game then. Uh. And then off it and go to the BRB screen and I'll see you all in a couple of minutes when I'm back. Pills, we'll some pills here, which is some food, food storage, and, uh, and we storage need to harvest that. Yeah. Plenty, because there's a lot more food on this map. Uh, to build right our name, colony. Uh, recognize that the, the other map was a bit stingy as, as far as food goes. So, so yeah, put food here. Uh, food we need to define a tile. Um, I think the area. food made the other map a bit more uh, challenging. Uh, for our... Uh, not everyone and to store the food, so I'm just going to use this tool here. So I've got to be uh, to create a larder. I want a bit more food before to I come along here to uh, this is going to be try the, uh, going this this way, the area that they're going to store the food for us. I'm not going to leave a chamber directly uh, to my queen because as soon as she's uh, once they've done that, you know, 
Um, Actually, uh, they'll, they'll start rearranging. Can't reproduce any more. The pills. I'm so I'm, out instead, again. I'm gonna the, the trick to uh, and then this game is a little bit long. Maximum, down, so it's not directly to that. Is the, uh, they're now storing in which you attack things like down here. I'm pretty sure is how the mother loads get to death food. And we don't want to start along and, 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 and a bit more similar list the food yeah. as well. There's food there, but there's also great. enemies, uh, so I'm not... Okay, and uh, just run in there. We're need, gonna need um, a few more workers, not too many. I've had in, in this a demo... we can get to before we, we have can to overdo it with an enemy. Because workers are free to respawn. So, uh, but if you look, when uh, when I carry on crop down a worker type thing, thing. And I'm, I'm yeah, just going to find the way the enemies need. will try and run towards my corner. So I'm just going to have so yeah, maybe that many for now. now. Taking it back to the storage the chambers. Yeah, my worker chamber up here. I'm not sure about this. Along they come. There's no system to I don't want to repair the area to... So these are now uh, if we come down here, yeah, working one of these tiles the out. And then they'll come along to the queen, here. grab a uh, bomb no, I'm, I'm reliably informed. Grab an egg from her, the kind of I will pop them in the stream, and then uh, uh, when these fellows right hatch, or these ladies rather, the hatch, they'll be the workers. Enemy. Oh, look at that animation. It's so, great, yeah. Okay, we've got seven okay. past the workers, and so I think we should probably have a few more. It's like popcorn, it's very satisfying to watch. Because uh, this yeah, so we've got some got lovely and fresh face workers work work ready to our fellas to help us with our uh, 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 dominate. Then we'll go into battle. We do. They'll immediately come and add new uh, the workers will come out and prepare those uh, those soldiers for these black ant trials. Uh, but these won't hatch until the ant associated with that tile dies. And in this demo version, it's free for them to rehatch to respawn. Basically, it is respawning. Um, so, yeah, there is going to be I don't think it'll be like guess, that in the uh, final game, but for the, the purpose of this uh, demo, uh, it's while, free while there the, is the wait, free for the workers to uh, rehash. I think 16 is plenty um, for now, uh, so we're just going to carry on expanding about how things are going with the, uh, yeah, the Kickstarter. Like popcorn, I love so this animation. We're just about a week yeah, into the Kickstarter now. Once and we've got 100 people, so we'll start thinking about 90% of the way to their goal. Because we are going to meet some uh, nasty, creepy crawlies. Some utterly astounding. Yeah, as they bomb, you see, we uh, lose one I don't think they, so uh, the uh, they expect it. Up here, yeah, the, uh, the soldier um, Right. Considering yeah, the way they take on uh, their last few start places where, where there are yeah, in few enemies. Yes. There's one down here from the public. But not uh, yeah, not outright. This direction. Yeah, we need this now. We can just drag it out. That's changed. And I think that's probably because it's so satisfying to have the working starter work. Having them, you know, you know, just stronger this time. And they come and do it for you. You don't. It's uh, like a like the old dungeon keeper. If you ever just that. Or our queen, of course. Uh, you don't control the human direction. Instead, you uh, you give them more focused. focused. Um, and it's it's working very well. Okay, they they decide to make this thing in their own time. We move into a cave. Our pills. Our pills. This area is full of food and we need to. Harvest yeah. that. Plenty, because there's a lot more food on this uh, map. Drop my right uh, uh, Recognise that the, the other map was a bit stingy as, as far as food goes. So, so yeah, put food here. Uh, we food need to define a tile. Um, I think or an this area. Of food made the other map a bit more uh, challenging. Uh, for our uh, not everyone ants to, to store the food. So I'm just going to use this tool here. So I've got to be uh, to create a larder. So I want a bit more food yeah, before I come back here to uh, This is going to be try the, uh, this this way, the area that they're going to store and be crafty. Yeah, I'm not going to leave a chamber directly yeah. to my queen because as soon as she's um, once they've done that, you know, they'll, uh, they'll, uh, they'll start getting ready. She can't reproduce any more. The pills. On so the now instead, I'm going to the trick to and then this is a little bit long maximum, so it's not directly to that. They're now storing in which you attack things like down here. I'm pretty sure is how the mother loads get to death food. There are intruders in the nest.
predators are loose in the nest, the larvae must be protected. There we go. I think, I think we're back now. Yeah, haven't streamed in uh, many, many months, guys. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get back into the swing of it. Like I could do with a couple more workers. Generally speaking, on this level, yeah, you don't really need them, technically. But I think I was just getting, like, an, an extra three just to speed things up. It's amazing how much faster these these 2D overlays render now. Matt did a great job optimizing them so much quicker. It used to lag out, yeah, most people's PCs when when you've got these things on, but uh, not anymore. You don't need workers, how absurd. I'm not a speedrunner, here looks. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. First couple of level three girls coming up. Wonderful. Okay, that'll do for now. Should Get us in good stead for the for the next couple of areas. There are intruders in the nest. Coming up to end game now.
clear out an arena while we're at it. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Melting them. Melting them. Get melted, idiot. Right, time to take on our first adult. There are intruders in the nest. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of Not external problem. armor. Not a problem. While Get out of here, trash. Tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Not a single drop frame in over an hour. Wow. Full fiber. It's worth it. Yeah, back in my streaming over 4G days, it was hit and miss whether it'd even work one day to another. But this is great. A couple of extra upgrades while we're waiting. Can always sell stuff. Uh, I think people forget that people forget this sometimes that you can sell. Uh, if, if you're really short on cash at the very bitter end of everything. back a bit just for to deal with the uh, the second one starving. there's not enough food to feed the new brood and there we go i think we got it are we up this formica fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth soon their territory will need to expand above ground where new challenges await for the time being however the queen is safe. Extra royal jelly, of course, uh, which is the five head choice. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. expand a bit while I'm at it then we'll do we'll do one two and then we'll call it for the day uh, which uh, will take us half an hour ish I guess some ants 
Oh, I don't have the royal jelly yet, of course. Yeah, I haven't done the second challenge. Or the second mission, rather. All good, all good. I shall have the jelly shortly. Let's just uh, let's just launch the mission. I'll, I'll save the formicarian and then uh, let's go one two difficulty and up we go. This formica fusca black ant queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of formica sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the black ant colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. Formica sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling colony. There is something even more sinister nearby, lurking in the darkness. Always like that, that work, that uh, delivery, lurking in the darkness. If I get really close to this microphone, lurking in the darkness. See ya, Helix. Sigestria Florida. Always get that wrong. A funnel web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped with a deep, powerful bite. Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. This is my favourite uh, music track in the game, by the way. Because uh, Liam, he used lots of plucked um, string instruments, like uh, violins and violas. Plucked rather than bowed. And I think it, it's really evocative of a, uh, a spider, you know, crawling over its web. Plucking it with its feet as it goes. I think it's really clever. That's about nerfing wood ant melee. Why would they need nerfing? I think wood ant melees are probably pretty well balanced. Now the range ones, they they can be OP. It reminds me of Diablo for some reason, that little musical hint there. Got it. Okay, let's choose a spider to kill this one. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected.
By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. Sanguinea Scout has sensed the presence of the Black Ants. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young, or wipe out the colony entirely. In the end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. You have to deal with these ones next. Oh, to feed over there, though. Make an expert mode. Insane is kind of that anyway, my friend. Um, most insane levels are really tough and deliberately. bit too eerie for you the, the, the whole atmosphere of this level i think is peak peak empires of the undergrowth will you play a level on challenge mode i, I might i might do this one or, or 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 one one on challenge mode next time i stream next week Yeah, basically, th these first few streams are going to be a bit awkward while I figure things out and while I work out my uh, my stream deck properly. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. But uh, yeah, as, as I get used to it uh, and things become a bit more relaxed, then uh, yeah, things should feel a bit more natural. The idea is to be natural enough that uh, you know I, I feel get used to it to the point where I feel nice and relaxed uh, with chat rather than. Uh, yeah, rather than a bit awkward and, and on show. My brethren beetles. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. Get out of here. Was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe. For now. Get out of here, jokers. Am I the only one who thinks that 2-1 and 2-2's two music gets so boring and repetitive? You're probably not the only one who thinks that, no. Um, any single opinion you have is probably shared by another human being. Say a dad joke. Well, I'm not a dad. Uh, that, that would be illegal. I'm an uncle, though. I could say an uncle joke. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Are you guys going to add a key binding so we don't have to go all the way to the ant area? What, what do you mean? Key binding for what? We've got key bindings for most things. I mean, the only two things we don't really have key bindings for are these keys that, that rotate the uh, the camera. Uh, that, but that's just because we're waiting on translations for, for them. Yeah, 
Okay, raid coming up. Go and uh, deal with it. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. Most pathetic attempt at kidnapping larvae ever. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe. Worst for now. Read ever. Probably Baltimore stuff. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. So the next species of ants, uh, you'll have to wait and see. It's not been officially uh, announced yet. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Thirty feet away, they can probably leave that. Yeah, this level can be very easily speed run, but uh, are loose in the nest. I'm not a speed runner. The larvae we have a whole community of people who are. Talk to Solstitium in chat if you'd like to join um, the insane completionist slugs. Got a raid coming. There is no respite from the culling. The sanguinea will subjugate or, or exterminate. exterminate. They will do neither. They'll just get wrecked like the idiots they are. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. When is adventure coming out? At uh, some point in the next couple of months. It might be tied to an event. We're not entirely sure yet. Like a like a, a Steam event. We'll see. Not far off finishing this one. This is the, the quickest level in the game, kind of, in the campaign, at least. Um, nice quick one. And, and I've always, always enjoyed this level. If, if, I've, if I've ever just uh, fancied playing Empires for, for a little while, I'd, this is kind of my go-to level. Nice simple one. Nice premise. Um, uh, good theming. Good music. It's just everything you want out of Empires of the Undergrowth, I think, this level. Okay, we're, we're, we're actually done for soldiers now. Just just the six uh, workers, and then, uh, then we're done. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do us. 
And then we just have to survive the final raid, and uh, that's the end of the level. Nice simple one. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. No problem. Get out of here, slave makers. Easy. Once again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great Black Ant Empire. Yeah, fr frontline can be cheesed pretty heavily. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, I got rapid growth that time. Beat the level within 16 minutes on medium difficulty. Got that one before, though. Okay. The colony progressing? The queen's exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Okay, good. Right. Well, I've, I've completed my goal uh, in Empires of the Undergrowth that I wish to do today. So I'm going to save. And then we'll, we'll have a... I've been going for an hour and a half, so I've probably got 15 more minutes when we can have a bit, a bit more of a chat. Okay, so let me just, uh, yeah, until I sort my Steam Deck out properly, I'm doing things manually. So just uh, bear with me while I quit to desktop and everything goes black for a second. And then uh, I can move to my talking scene. Good. And then uh, we'll have some music. Background. Okay, right, yeah. So I'm just going to talk for 10, 15 minutes and... Uh, and then, uh, then we'll call it. So, yeah, I think that I think that stream was all right. Reasonable first stream. Should probably keep the microphone out of the way of my face, really, shouldn't I? Otherwise, what's the point in having a camera? Oh yeah, if you if you're unfamiliar with my my hobbies, I've I've got the one ring here. Uh, just keep an eye on it. Make sure you know Sauron doesn't you know try and get it back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If a frog had 55 food in them, uh, what's the rest of the frog? Pff, air, data points, um, dark matter. He didn't save, did he? I did. I saved. Add dinosaur rant. Uh, not planned. Your top most loved ants. Uh, I, I said it earlier, yeah. The trapdoor ant is my favourite. For the next update, I want bullet ants. You'll have to wait a bit longer for bullet ants, but they will come. Not not as their own colony, uh, but as a uh, an end game extra bonus. Uh, as in, you finish Formicarium Challenge 5, and uh, you'll be able to then spend royal jelly uh, to unlock uh, bullet ants for your colony, and then you'll be able to take it into free play and stuff. Any TS5 stuff? I've not been authorised to talk about TS5 stuff yet. Uh, after we've done the uh, an update to free play, uh, once we've brought uh, Liam's new AI to free play um, and made a bunch of changes to it, uh, you know, added uh, new Ubers and everything, and we get it in, in a finished form, then the guys will go hard into uh, finishing uh, the work for. Um, tier five, and at that point we'll start doing the, the marketing cycle again. So every every couple of weeks or so, we'll, we'll probably be able to show up some new artwork. We'll have we'll have uh, Matt's uh, creature work and uh, Dan's environmental work, uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll for screenshot Saturdays and things. If you have seen that hashtag on Twitter uh, that that we do, uh, so yeah, at, at that point it, it won't be too within the next few months. I, I think we'll 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 really start to ramp up production on that stuff do you have the old eotu build uh i do uh it, it does it doesn't work very well though it's there's not really much to show 
Um, the the new the newer build is way way more complete. Uh, in the new levels, will you be able to play as Big Headed Ant or Little Black Ant? Uh, in the new levels, no, no. You can play as them in free play. That uh, that though, they're they're what we call auxiliary or peripheral species. So they're there to support the focal species, which is black ants, of course. So they don't get their own levels. Um, they're, they're there to, to support the, the star of the show, which is the, the fire ant. Yeah. You have the pre-alpha build. Uh, not on this machine. Uh, the guys have got it, though. But it's, again, it's there's not much to show. I mean, maybe at some point we could do a stream kind of going through it, but it, it'd be just kind of academia really uh, there's, there's there, there wouldn't be much value to it apart from just looking at it for for random interest what the stars in free free play enemies uh, uh an enemy with a star is is what we call power scaled um now power scaling can go on indefinitely but but because of the way the sprites work they only do up to 13 i think before it then just becomes a plus uh, but that might change in the future. But uh, that just means that uh, the enemy is scaled up in, in in all its stats, apart from the food it gives, I think. Um, to yeah, as a way of um, adjusting difficulty. It used to be in in in, a, in the older form of free play, a higher difficulty would just spawn more creatures, and, and the entire map would be swarming with everything, and your frame rate would drop. But we thought a more sensible way is to scale up the the power of current creatures rather than just adding more of them. Can Empires of the Undergrowth have shaders? Now, sh shaders, that's a, that's a computer graphics term. Um, it's got shaders? It's, uh, you might, I, th I think you might be thinking in terms of Minecraft or, or Roblox. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think there, but, uh, but no, we don't, we don't allow graphics mods. Will you add a rain system? Probably not. Um, whenever we've done, like, heavy use of particles and things, uh, people tend to complain about frame rates dropping. Particularly in, um, particularly in a, a hibernation that has that has the snow, people on lower end hardware really feel it. So we, we want to keep those kind of things to a, a minimum. When is Tier Four Challenge Mode coming? Um, I suspect next year, but that's that's not even really an estimate. Uh, we have to get to that point in our in our graph first, in our in our roadmap. Was the Kickstarter version a build in EOTU, or is it just a video trailer? That that was in an engine that the guys designed. Um, I forget what they called it now, but Matt uh, built an engine back in the days when we were developing for mobile. And uh, yeah, it was it was a bit much um, uh, when when we we came to a, a realization that we were going to spend all of our time... I say we, I wasn't on the team at this point. It was the three guys. They were going to spend all of their time um, trying to get this engine to work properly rather than actually developing the game. So once that became... I think the, the final kind of uh, turning point was when John tried to send the build to someone who was going to have a look at it and play it on stream, and they just couldn't get it to work. Uh, and at that point, they thought, you know what, as... We, we, let's not fall for the sunk cost fallacy and let's just use um, a, a pre-made engine. And uh, I think Matt, it was Matt that settled on Unreal Engine 4 we decided to go for. We could have gone the Unity route, but um, I think Unreal Engine had some graphical features that he uh, he wanted. When is the game going to start? Um, it's It started about an hour ago, mate. <laughs> I've, I've been playing for about an hour. Will Empires of the Undergrowth have monitoring support? Maybe. Uh, we'd have to work out what that, that would entail. We can't just release the source code. The new update is in the next year or two years or three. We hope not. We hope it doesn't take anywhere near as long as the Fire Ant update did. Fire Ant update took a long time for various reasons. Uh, the biggest one was probably honestly COVID-19, which was disruptive to everyone's lives in ways that we couldn't even really imagine. Um, and everyone the world over felt that. But uh, other things were like uh, 
a revamping or a complete recreation of the movement code, which took seven months to do from start to finish. Um, but the game is, is much faster as a result, so it was worth taking the time to do those things. But we, we really hope that we don't take another two or three years to, to get Tier 5 out. We, we, we hope, but again, we, we can't predict. We, we, um, it's, it's by its nature an unpredictable process, is game development. Even the really big guys can't really pin down dates very easily. We all remember the cyberpunk fiasco. Will the Asian marauder ants be playable in free play eventually? No, I don't think they're a plant species at all. Is the next species of ant going to be very strong? I, I don't think we want, ever want to do super OP ants. Everything has to be balanced. Any plans to expand digging logic for enemy creatures? Uh, would love to see enemies only dig if no sensible path is available. Well, well, Hoff, the the reason that, uh, like in in four one, the toads dig in seemingly strange patterns is just to slow them down a bit. If if they just went straight for the queen, um, they 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 just overwhelm the queen very fast. So it's, it's, it's not really meant to be a logical thing. It's just to give them something to do and kind of the player time to react. Gaming Beaver thought multiplayer was going to be in the game. Uh, until literally yesterday, we we never said it wasn't. We just said it was something we were thinking about. But the, the, the time has kind of come to make a real decision there. And the, the decision is no, we're not going to do multiplayer. Yeah, in its current form, it wouldn't be much fun in multiplayer. And the time it would take to actually develop a whole worthwhile multiplayer system, we'd rather just get on with tier five. Uh, multiplayer for a future project? Maybe. But not Empires of the Undergrowth. Will you be able to put back dirt tiles where you didn't mean to dig? No. Uh, rebuilding dirt tiles breaks various things, mainly pathfinding, and also allows the player to create kind of labyrinthian paths to their queen. Um, which is uh, and 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 any every time you add an extra rule to that, like oh no, you can only rebuild a tile that 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 wasn't dug out at the start. You're adding extra baggage to those rules, and that makes them feel very inelegant and, and not easy to understand. So, just the simplest solution to everything is no, just don't don't allow tile rebuilding. And we've we've honestly been working on this game since 2014, and we've not heard a good suggestion that we like. To, to allow tile rebuilding that doesn't break everything and, and isn't, um, you know, really inelegant. Yeah, okay, I think, I think we're coming to a natural end to things. Multiplayer for EOTU2 confirmed. <laughs> I said maybe a future project, maybe. Yeah, we're coming to a natural end of things now. Yeah, I've been going for an hour 41 minutes, which is a long stream for me. Uh, I think the longest I've, I've done so far has been like one hour 20 or something uh, because I tend to talk a bit loud and wear my voice out and I can feel it getting a bit hoarse now. I'm going to have to work on that, just calming it down and speaking a bit more gently. Are termites going to be a playable species? Maybe. Yeah, they, they might find their way into free play. Okay, right. So I'm going to end things there. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, I think I'm going to stream roughly the same time next week. Um, uh, and, and at some point I will do um, an earlier stream so that um, uh, people who, who are ahead of me um, time zone wise can watch. And sometimes I'll, I'll do a, maybe a, a, a much later stream for, for people, you know, United States and, uh, and South America wise and, and, and Canada and that, that kind of part of the world. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm just going to press this button again because it, it amuses me. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And uh, then we're going to end things. See you next time.
Merry Christmas, you filthy animal.